Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In the last part of our tutorial, we have seen that how we can upgrade our project to the newest Unity version and we have also imported a few uh, packages. Now, talking about packages, make sure that if your project is somehow doesn't work, make sure that the version of these packages basically match with mine uh, because sometimes when they are updating these packages regularly sometimes there is a mismatch and some part doesn't work with one plugin and some doesn't work with other anyways so yeah uh, we're going to uh, jump right in, into coding we're going to start working on this xr interaction toolkit till now we have been using the default touch interaction that comes with the unity engine but uh, with the interaction toolkit there is a really new way of uh, you know manipulating your object just for XR interactions so that um, will come handy for our uh, purposes all right so if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button subscribe to our channel and share the video to support the channel so the first thing that we want to do is um, we are going to change this uh, input manager with the new version of the touch interaction all right now if I right click and go to XR you can see there's a whole lot of options. they were not here before uh, one of them are one of them is the AR placement interactable so if I click on that this basically comes with a whole package or a complete script that automatically helps you to place your object without writing any single line of code but for our purpose we should have to write a few line of code because um, the way we are interacting is not going to be you know um, not going to be as like this one so yeah so that is why i'm going to delete the ar placement interactable from here we are not going to use this we are going to use our own uh, system all right so that being said let's get started let's go to the input manager I'm just going to open it up and here okay so before we had this um, systems where we are using this touch right so now we are going to use the gesture interaction so that is why we are going to need a new package so not package namespace so what we're going to do is we're going to um, basically extend this class from the gesture interactable so this is going to be our base class and when i use this you can see that we are also adding a namespace in the top okay next we are going to um go back in here I'm just going to start with this method let's change this touch with our new um touch with which is named as tap this gesture so tap gesture this this comes with this uh, interaction package and what it does it basically gives you a few more option uh, to see that how the touch is currently working is it a tap is it a swipe is it a different sort of gesture so it comes with some really predefined gestures so we don't have to come up with the maths and all the complex stuff all right yeah so let's change this the i think the method or the yeah the variable is a start position change this one as well okay so this part is done i'm going to collapse this next we need to change the crosser uh, calculation the camera this one is good but we are not going to use the normal raycast manager we are going to use the raycast manager that comes with the uh, gesture like uh, package so this is called gesture transformation utility and the first parameter is going to be the position so we are going to use the um, position which is going to be the origin right so this is where we are going to start throwing the ray this is the our uh, like start and then we are uh, looking for the hits so that you can store all the hit information in there and we are only going to calculate the um, hits 
with the plane within polygon. Awesome. We are not going to use this and we can get rid of the ray cast hit. Awesome. And next up we are going to need a few more helper method but before doing that I'm just going to get rid of all this because we're not going to use that anymore. Uh, rather than using update it's a good idea to do fixed update because we are using ray casting and here I am going to basically call the crosshair calculation. Okay. Okay. So, so far so good. Nothing really hard. Now, basically when this, uh, when we called this uh, base class that comes up with some method that we need to override to um, make our um, tap functionality work. Right. So the first over, uh, right method should be the the method that is going to help us to de uh, like define when the player can tap on the plane so what i mean by that is that if for example there is already a object placed in our environment we are not going to allow our player to tap on top of the other object right so let's handle that we're going to do protected override boolean and there is this already like defined method in the base class so we're going to use the one with the tap because we are only going to care about the tap gesture uh, to place an object right now what we're going to do we're going to allow the player to um, to place object if the gesture doesn't have any target object right so that means that gesture is not colliding with anything uh, or any object. We're going to do true. And if it's not true, then we're just going to return false. Awesome. Okay, so that was the first over, uh, override method. And the, the next one is going to be the one where we actually place the object because as you can see, none of our method is basically now responsible for placing the object. So what we are going to do, we are going to look for an um, um, virtual method or override method that is going to um, check or that that is going to be called whenever the manipulation is done. For example, if you are tapping, when you are done tapping, that method will be called automatically. And again, this uh, is already defined inside the base class. So we are just going to um, use this in here. Yeah. So we're going to say on end manipulation and we are going to use a tab gesture. Awesome. Now in here, what we're going to do is first we're going to check that if the gesture was cancelled then we're going to return we're not going to do anything we're done we're also going to check a few other things so we're going to say if the uh, gesture dot target object is not equal to null um, and also we're going to check that is it's pointing over the UI right so if any of them is true then we are just going to return again oh not R and R all right now if none of them are true then we have a sh we have a chance that we can place the object okay so again, just like we did here, we are going to throw a ray and see that if we are indeed hitting a plane, this time we are going to do just uh, a dot start position to see where the player is like clicking on the screen. Um, this is not necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway so that we like we're going to change it later on anyway but for now just keep it in this way we're just going to make the player tap anywhere in the ground if he's tapping anywhere in the ground we're going to place our object 
into the position of our crosshair right and our crosshairs position is basically saved into the pose actually we don't need this let's get rid of that as well yeah so we can get the pose of our crosshair and then using that we can place the object so let's do that game object place object equal so we're just going to hold that into a temporary variable i'll show you why just in a bit and we are going to get the furniture we are going to put it in the position of the pose and we are also going to apply the rotation of the pose awesome now after this we also need to do one more thing we are going to make sure that our object has a placement anchor now this anchor is going to help us to uh, kind of you know uh, like uh, uh, find the objects corresponding position in the world space right so this is kind of a reference point of the uh, anchor so yeah so let's add a new just game object so i'm just going to name it anchor object is new game object and we are just going to make the transform position and rotation with the heat information now what is the heat information uh, our heat information is inside our pose right so we can do something like pose dot position and we are finally going to make this a parent of the placed object right so the anchor is going to be the parent and the anchor is going to hold the place object so that is how uh, we are going to track this object we are going to look for the anchor and wherever our wherever our anchor is our object is going to be in the same place i hope it makes sense okay um now what now we are actually done to place an object let's save this see if there is any error okay so yeah there is no error so now what I am going to do is I'm going to lastly I am going to make sure that our air camera has this gesture script so there's a AR gesture interactor make sure you have that assigned into your AR camera and also in the input manager make sure that the interaction manager is assigned awesome yeah I think that's all about it I'm just going to build this and see if everything is working all right so I have installed the app into my uh, phone now as you can see when I tap something happened but yeah so we can place objects right awesome so in this part we have just seen that how we can just change our old input with the new XR interaction toolkit and in the next part we are going to actually manipulate the object that we are placing using the XR interaction toolkit so I'll see you in the next tutorial